we are getting list of integer. Now we want to add them to set. How do we add them to set? Ages dot add. Ages dot add. People have followed. Set of list of integer. Set of list of integer. So we have taken list of integer and added the elements to the set. If you want to print the element, system dot this is how it print. Right, boss. Now what I want to do? Every element that is there in the set, I want to put them in a list. Now it is what set of list of integer. Now every element that is there in the set, I want to take one by one element. I want to put them in a list. Now how do you take it? First, if you want to take the elements, list of integer my ages equal to new list of integer. Right. Now how do you take it? For first we need to take set of elements. What is the set of element? What is the set of element? List of integer a values. What is the set name? Ages is a set of elements. In the set of element, every element is what? List of integer. We will take list of accounts. Account A colon list of account. We will take list of contacts. Contact colon list of contacts. We will take list of integer. Integer A colon ages. When you take a set of list of integer, then what will you take? List of integer a colon ages. People have followed this loop. People have followed. Now, every element is what? List of integer. If you want to take every element, for integer a. What is the list? List is a group of element. Take one by one element from the group. Add it. So what I am doing? My ages dot add. If I print now, my ages. Let us see what value we are getting. System dot debug. People of all, I created a set of list of integer. Then I put all the elements in the list I am trying to display. Let me execute. What is the value we got? Set of 10 comma 20 is one list, 20 comma 40 is another list. What you have taken? One by one element we have taken, added them into my list. People have followed this. The first example clear for everyone? Yes. Yes. You want me to explain? So, look at the format. Generally, if I take a list of account, Now, how do you write a for loop? Tell me now. How do you write a for loop? It is a group of account records. How do you write? For account A. What is that? Because why do you take account A? Because it is a group of records. So we are referring to one by one account. A to C is a group of records. We are referring to one by one account. Similarly, what is the case now? Right now the case is what? Set of List of now what is this? It is a set of list of integer. It is a set of list of integer. Now because it is a set of list of integer, what I am taking? List of integer. Okay. Right now. Any query from anyone? Anyone else? Any query from anyone else? People have followed? People have followed this? Clear for everyone? Right. So let us take one more example. Let us take one more example. Let us take the next example. Now I am creating here. Look at the first example. Be it a. Today. List of account records. Did I list of account records? 
that create a set of accordions create a set of industry add put all the acronyms and industry in the list put create a proper class create a proper class account details with name with name so i'll make it small simple data list of account records let me make it create a list of account records create a proper class account data with the name industry create list of account data and add for every account record create a account data and add it to list what i'm doing create a list of account records then create a proper class account data with name industry for create a list of account data take one by one account record take every account record and create the corresponding take every account record and create and create corresponding account data data and add it to the list this is the requirement now what is the first thing that we need to do here first i'll try to create a proper class what is the proper class we need account data we need to create a account proper account data proper class First, let's do one example. Then I'll give ten for practicing the few examples. To create that, the account data. In the account data, what is the data we have? Public string. Public string. Name and phone. You also want to take branch. Not branch. This is. We created account wrapper. First, wrapper class will be used as what? Data type. User defined data type. What is the next one? I told. Create a list of account records. How do you create a list of account record? List of account. Now, how do you create an account record? Account A one equal to. Even dot this thing. The code A two equal to A two dot name. We have created a code. Now I ask you to add these accounts to list. This is what. This is how I created. Now what did I ask you to do? Create a list of account data. This is the way. Now what is my requirement? My requirement is take. One by one account record based on the data available in the account record. Create the corresponding account data. Take one by one account record. How do you take one by one account record? For account A, A C. Take one by one account record. By taking one by one account record, what are you doing? 
creating the corresponding account data. How are you creating account data? AD equal to new account data. Where what are the fields we have in AD? AD dot name equal to account dot AD dot phone equal to A dot AD dot NST equal to A dot you have created account data. Then what I ask you to do? Add them to accounts dot add. So how many account data are created? If there are three accounts, three account data are created. If there are four accounts, four account data is created. So what did you do? When you have a list of account, boss, right now this I am creating manually. When you go further, this data will come from database. Then we write only this logic. Right now we are taking this data manually. So this has become extra code for us. But when you go further, we write a sample queries, get the data directly from the database. Then we write only the remaining part of the code. Are you clear about this? Right. Now let me print it. How do you print the data? System dot debug. Print the data and see. So we got account, this is an account, name, phone, industry. Here we got a spot. Account data, industry, name. It is a list of account records. Here is a list of account data. I hope you are clear with this. I hope you are clear. Look at the code. Any queries on this? I created a list of account records. We created a list which contain list of account records. Then we have taken one by one account record based on the data we created. We created list of account data. People are clear with this? People are clear with this? Clear for everyone? Okay. Now let us go to the next example. By using this list, I want to make a practical approach. So what I am doing? I am going to create a Pick list option. Generally, in the visual code space, if you want to create a pick list, how do you create? In the visual course, if you want to create a pick list, how do you create? FX, select. Here we are going to give FX, select option, item label. Like this, we are creating. Am I right? This is what one option. This is what one option. Okay. Now, I want to create these options programmatically. Now, if you want to create a month, I cannot create 30 options. I cannot manually create 30 options. So, programmatically, how do you create the option? Let us see. We have a predefined FX class called select option. What is the name of the class? Select option. There is a predefined FX class called select option. In this class, constructor is going to have item value, comma, item. There is a predefined FX class called select option. This class contains two variables, item value, item label. This class contains two variables, item value, item label. Right. Now look at the point. Now I am giving select option. OP1 equal to new select option. What is the item value we give? DG. What is the item label we give? This is how we created the option. In the pick list, are you going to take only one option or a group of option? Pick list is going to have group of option. Pick list is going to have group of option. When the pick list have a group of option, what should we do? It is a list of options. Select option. It is a list of options. Create one by one option. Add the option to the list. 
Now in the pick list is going to be a group of options. So what should we do? Create one by one option, add them to the list. Are you ready? Select option is a predefined FX class. Select option is a predefined FX class. Select option is a predefined FX class. Right. In which, using which, we can create a pick list option. So let us demonstrate one example of this. So here I am giving group of option. Public list of Then I am giving public thing. The group of option you are going to select any one of the options. I'm going to create one more public thing. Look at the font. How I'm defining public list. First, is this option is a reference variable or primitive variable? Other than primitive, everything is what? Reference. Option is equal to new list of this of it. Now, how do you create one by one option? Select option. First, none I am taking. Select option. Then, item value is none. If I select a label called none, if you select this label, if you select this label, we are going to get this. New select option. Okay. Label, if I select TZ, we are going to get header back. Select option. This is how we have created. Select option, OP1 equal to new select option. Select option, OP1 equal to new select option. Hyderabad is. Select option, OP2 equal to new select option. So what I am doing here? Options dot add. Add the none option. Options dot add. Options dot add. This is how we have created. Options dot add n, options dot add op1, options dot add op2. It is a list, right? It is a list. So how many options I added? Three options. It is a group of options. Similarly, I am going to create a method. Public void. This is a public void create. Then what I am doing was result equal to yours. Selected. Result equal to your selected. This is how we create. Now create a visual force page. List. List examples. Then I am giving FX. How do you create a quick list? FX. Select list. Value equal to what is value? In the pick list, whatever the option you have selected, that option will be selected in the and I gave size equal to 1. Already we have seen. Now previously we used to give select option because we used to create one option at a time. But now you already got a group of options. So what I am going to give? Select the options. Value equal to. Select option. Value equal to option. What is the option? 
already we created a group of options whatever the group of options are created those options i want to display it then i want to give the bits are equal to action equal to some matter and pd then give it so look at the format we got a pick list option good so how did we create this pick list select the list group of options from the pick list from the pick list if i select a tg we are going to get a hyderabad where is the hyderabad value stored hyderabad is stored in what if we select a tg we are going to get a hyderabad because i told if we select tg we are going to get a hyderabad where is the hyderabad stored the variable for select when you click on this button we are going to get a create the button click on this button you got you have selected are you getting my point here i created a list of pick list option using apex programming we created a pick list option using a apex programming we created a pick list options using a apex programming people have followed this people have followed right. now the problem is sir if you have 40 options will you create like this if you have 80 options will you create like this now i cannot give manual operation like this then what should i do i have to create i have to create using apex programming i have to create using apex programming look at the format look at the format now let us take the next example Let us draw example carefully. Public list of string public list of select option. Now what I have taken? I have taken a list of strings, list of options. Public list. Now, first I'm giving city is equal to new list of we have a list of cities. All the cities are the list. If you want to sort the list, how do you sort it? Cities dot. We sort them. What we get? We get all the options in the all for vertical. How do we create the options? Options equal to new list of select. Till here any query? Any query? We have got a list of cities. All the three names I have sorted. Then what do I do? I create a list of select option. How many options are there? Zero options. Right now how many options are there? Zero option. So what do I do? I create a select option. and equal to select option first time ready now is a only the good practice to put now the pick list we added then options dot add how many options are there only one remaining options i want to create based on the list of cities now whatever the cities that are there in the list i want to take one by one city and create a pick list previously i have created a values manually hyderabad tg bangalore i created manually now i don't want to create manually i want to take the values from the list programmatically i want to create now how to refer to one by one city for string yes right boss am i right now how do you create an option for every city create one pick list option op equal to You select. If you want to say item value item value, item label, what do you mean? What is this? Item value item value. What is this? Item label item value. Am I right? We are going to write item value comma item label. What is the value of item value? 
Adapt. What is the value of item label? Adapt. Label item by the value of item by the value. Right? Similarly, instead of giving like this, now I'll say item value yes. What is this? S is what? Bamboo. Item label, yes. What is this? Bangalore. Am right? If S is Bangalore, item value Bangalore, item label, Bangalore. Did the people get it? How do you write this box? Select the option. Now, I give S. What is S? S is nothing but item. What is that S? S is nothing but a city. What is the city? Hyderabad. So what is the S? Hyderabad. That means item value equal to Hyderabad. What is the second S? Item label. What is the item label? Hyderabad. Item label, item value, both are same. That is the reason I give S comma S. Item value, item label, both are same. That is the reason I give what? S comma S. Are you getting one point? Right. Once I created this option, add it to options dot add. Then create a quick list. Controller. Spawn. You're taking. Select. List size equal to one. I just want to create a quick list. Select options. Why I'm taking option? Because I'm giving group of so go for this. What we are getting here? Bangalore Adapt Chennai. Okay. Why we this? Why we are getting some okay alphabetical? Because I told list dot so what did I take? Instead of you manually entering one by one option, you kept all the options in a list, took one by one element from the list, created a big list. Created a big list. People have followed this. People have followed. Any query on this? Any query on this? Clear for everyone? Let me do one more example. People are clear with this. Follow everyone. Follow. Let us take one more example. Now, I will take the combination of proper class. I will take the combination of proper class. Look at this. Product wrapper. Already some data is there. Open. What is the name? Name, price, quantity. We have product name, product. We have a product name, product. I want to create a list of product wrapper class. Add elements. Take one by one element from the product wrapper. Product name should be a product name should be a item value. Product code should be a item value. Create a quick list with the product name as item label, product code as item value. If you select the product name, they are going to get the product code. If you select the product code, product name we are getting. I want to create a quick list with the product name as a item label, product value as a item value. Right. Now how do you create? Now, first I need to have public list of product. Right. Now I want to create a quick list. How do you create? Public list of select option. So what is the first thing that I have to do? Insert the elements into Product wrapper. How do you insert the elements into product wrapper? Public.
Now, I am getting a data, product number R1. Name. Even dot name, product name I'm giving. <coughs> Let us say iPhone. Like if you got it, products. we are adding the elements to products dot add even comma. And boss, these are the list of product product wrapper. Now what do you want to do, boss? What do you want to do? You want to get a pick list. How do you want to get a pick list? Public, void. How do you get the options? Options equal to then create a one by one option, select the option, select the option. So you want to take one by one element from the product graph first. So what we do? We take one by one element from the product graph. It is a list of product graph. When you have a list of product graph, take one by one element from the product graph. So what I'm doing? Select option. OP equal to new select option P dot product code is the value P dot product name is the product code is the value product name is the label I took one by one product wrapper from each product wrapper product name is the label product code is the value then add the options to This is how I created. People have followed this. Right. Now, look at this example. Any query on this? People have followed. List of product wrapper. I am taking one by one product wrapper. Trying to create a big list option. Where the product name is the label. Product code is the value. Now, let us go to this. <laughs> Now, but where are the options defined? Did I define the options in the constructor? No, I defined in a method. Unless the method is called, options will not be displayed. So what I am doing? Here I am defining action. If I define action here, what happens? Boss, whenever the page is loading, first to perform that method, then load the page. Before the data in the page is loaded, first to perform the action, then load the page. If you want to perform any action before the page is loaded, perform the method called create, then load. If I define fx page action, run this action first, then load the page. We 
get the options here. I will go on it. You will select it. Then what should happen? I will define a button. When you click on the button, I get I7. When you click on the button, I get a SE. People are followed. Right. So what did you do? We create a pick list programmatically. If the elements are there in the list, take one by one element and create an option. If elements are there, if the values are there in the proper class, take one by one proper class, create the pick list. People follow this example. Everyone is comfortable with this? Clear? People have followed? Right. Now, let me take you to the next level. Let me apply the next level. Look at the form. People have taken clear for everyone. Let us take the next level. Look at this. I have a pick list. I want to create a pick list types. So I want to create the box, I want to give the size, I want to create the pick list like this. So how do you create the pick list like this? Let me give you. Let's just give me boss. Here we want to frame the example. List of string Then we have public List of select option options Public list. When I created this, how I am creating the cities? City is equal to new list of. I want to give the city names. Then I created an option. Options equal to new list of options. Then, how do you create these options? For string S cities. Then what I am doing? Select option OP equal to new select option. I want to give as what? Item value is yes. Item label is also yes. That means item value is the label, item value is the value. Then add it to list. Till here is clear. Any further queries on this? Clear till here? Let us take an next product. In the previous second name, how many options I can select? In the previous second name, how many options I can select? Only one option. Only one option. That is the reason I have taken as what? String. Why I have taken string? Only one option will be taken at a time. Whenever you say get data, you are going to see result. At the time, only one option can be selected in the pick list. That's the reason I have taken a stick. In the pick list, how many options you can take? One option. When now you call this model, what you are getting? You have selected this particular value. You selected this particular value. Okay. Now, let me create a VM. Let me get straight away. 
Apex select list size select list. Then I give value. Did I give size there? I will not give the size. What are the options we give? Apex select. But I want to give the box in my own format. If you want to give the box in your own format, sell is for what? CSS. I told you box with equal to I give. Then I am giving select list style class equal to then I told apply the box. Whatever the style I give, apply the box. Then I am giving fx command button. How do you create a button? Command button value equal to submit. Value equal to submit. Action. Action. Get data. Have you a preview? We got a box. Why did we get this box? Because I told size equal to width equal to so and so, height equal to so and so. I selected the option, click on submit. You want to print the data. What is the data you want to print? Because what type of pick list is this? It is a pick list. Only one option will be displayed. So we got to, you selected either bad, you selected bad. But what is my requirement? I don't want a pick list. I want a multi select pick list. I don't want a pick list. I want a multi select. Multi select means what? You are allowed to select more than one option. Now, you are allowed to select more than one option means we will not get a single value. We get a group of values. In the pick list, how many values we are going to select? Only one. That is the reason I told string selected. But when you go for, when you go for a multi select pick list, how many values you are going to select? More than one. If there is more than one, I am not sure. You will select one value, two values, three values, four values. You will select all the values. It is a multi-select. Multi-select means you can select all the values. You will select one value, two value, three value. If you are not sure how many elements you are, you are going to select, what is the option you are going to take? List. If you don't know how many elements you are going to take, if you know two elements, I will take two. If you know four elements, I will take four, but when you say multi set, I am not sure whether you are going to select two values or three values or four values. That is the reason what I will be doing here. Instead of list selected, I will take as what? List of I am selecting as what? List of string. I will select list of string. But if it is a list, what should you do was memory should be allocated. Now, if it is a single value, I told you have selected, you have selected, selected. But now selected is not a single value. It is a group of value. So what should I do? For string S. What are the elements you have selected? One by one, I want to add. Result equal to. Now it's going to say you have selected the following values. You have selected Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, all the values we are going to take. Because it's a group of values, I took one by one value and printed the value. What my point? Multi select means what? Not a single value, group of values you are going to select. As you are going to select a group of values, what should I take? List of string. Now what is the value here? It is what? Group of values. But how to make a pick list as multi select pick list? Here I have to give multi select equal to true. If I create an attribute called multi select equal to true, then because what? Multi select pick list. Now go back to the output now. You selected Bangalore, Chennai, and So what are you getting? Group of values. 
If you want to make a field as a multi-circuitry field, what should I do? If you select a field as a multi-circuitry field, what should I do? What should I do? I have to make apex select list multi-select equal to value equal to value equal to string or list of string. Value equal to list of string. Are you clear about this? People have followed? People have followed? How to make a pick list as multi-select pick list? Simply make apex Okay, select list, multi-select equal to 2. Are you clear about this? Now look at the point. Look at the point. Now, if I select the list of elements, click on the submit, those elements will be removed from the list. If I select the following elements, click on submit, remove those elements from the list. The options whatever I selected, that should be removed from the pick list. Whichever the option you selected, they are in the selected, right? If you select some option, they are in the selected. Now, whatever the options you have selected, I want to remove them. How do you remove it? How do you remove it? Look at the format. Look at the format, then go to see. Now look at the option. <coughs> so I'm calling. Now look at the option here. When now you say create, what I'm doing? City is dot. Remove all. Now I tell you. Now, whatever the options you have selected, I have to remove. If your operation is removed, what is the concept I will take? List of set. If I take a list of cities, what should I do? Find out where is Hyderabad, remove it. Find out where is Bangalore, remove it. Find out where is Chennai, remove it. I don't know which option you are going to select. Now you might have selected Hyderabad, I might have selected Bangalore. Now in the list, what should I do? Find out where is Hyderabad, remove it. Find out where is Bangalore, remove it. To avoid this confusion, I can simply go with what? Set. I can simply go with what? Set. Instead of list of cities, I am making set of cities. What is the advantage if I make set of cities? If I want to remove Hyderabad, set down remove Hyderabad. If you want to remove Bangalore, set down remove Bangalore. Are you getting my point? There is a reason I am going to take it as what? Set. Now what I am doing? Cities dot remove all. Cities dot remove all. What are the options you selected? Remove all those options from the cities. Remove all those options from the cities. Now, if you remove all those options from the cities, again I am creating options dot. First, let us see the output and re-explain. Let us see the output first and I re-explain. Go back to this. What happened? Options are removed. Are you getting my point? Right. So, look at the point. If I select some options and click, options are removed. Okay. Now, listen to the code what I have created. The picked options are created based on what? Based on the names which are there in the in the city there are four names, so four options came. In city if there are two names, two options will come. In the city if there is only one option, one city, only one option will come. Right. So what I told, whenever you say create, whatever the cities you have selected, whatever the cities you selected, remove those names from the city list. You select Hyderabad and Pune, remove Hyderabad and Pune from the list. When you remove Hyderabad and Pune, what are the cities that are left out? Bangalore, Chennai. Bangalore, Chennai. Then remove all the options. All the pick list options. Right now there are four options. Remove all of them. Then again, recreate the pick list. When you recreate the pick list, how many cities are there? Two cities. How many options will come? Two options. Concept of the beta. Initially, how many cities are there? How many options we are going to get? Four options. How many options we are going to get? Four options. Now, I selected Pune. Now, 
selected equal to what? Pune. Then it told cities dot remove all Pune. Then the city, what are the values that are left out? Adamat, Bangalore, Chennai. But how many options are displayed? Four options. Then I told clear. Clear all the options. Clear all the options means from the package, remove everything. And recreate the options again. When you recreate the option, Adamat, Bangalore, Chennai. Then again, I selected Bangalore, Chennai. Selected equal to what? Bangalore, Chennai. In the cities, how many values are there? Adamat, Bangalore, Chennai. I have selected two. How many options are there? Three options. Then I told cities dot remove all Bangalore Chennai. Now in the cities, how many values are there? Only Hyderabad. Only Hyderabad. Now I told remove all the options. How many options are there? Zero. Recreate the big list. When you recreate, how many options they are going to get? One option. In cities, there are four options. Four options. Cities, there are four names. Four options. Two names. Two options. Three names. Three options. Now, why should I remove options? If I don't remove options, let us see what will happen. What is happening? Again, I am adding the same set of options. Right, what should I do? Remove the old set, add the new set. Already old set is there, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai. If you add a new set, what happens? Again, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai will come. Don't add a new set. Remove the old set, then add a new set. Otherwise, it will be repetition. Now, what did you get? You got a repetition. You got a what? Repetition. If I say, if I say clear, what happened? Remove all the options, recreate the fresh options. Remove all the options, recreate the fresh options. That's how we are getting. Are you clear about this? Try to go through the coding. 